from winter to summer fashions for Barbie from the dollar store coming up after this. I kind of told myself that I wasn't going to make another one of these tube top, tube dress, dollar store Barbie videos because every time I do make them, I just end up like feeling like I have a bunch of cut up garbage at the end. But I discovered that one thing, one step, one extra step does make all the difference. And now I don't know if I ever want to buy another Barbie fashion pack again. So I usually get these things. So right now I wanted to make sure I could find them. Um, these head wraps used to be more common. Well, uh, maybe they still are, but the, the dollar stores around me right now, they don't seem to have very many. They do have some. Sometimes you can use scrunchies and stuff though too. You really have to check to see if you're if you've got the right material though. It's got to stretch this way and it's got to be oh no and it's got to be the right diameter. And uh, I did pick up all of these ones um, a couple years ago, but I know that they do still have these at the Dollarama in Canada. But you, ha you have to look. And then from Dollar Tree, so you'd be able to find these, you know, in the United States as well. And I thought I was going to make Easter dresses, but maybe that might not happen. But this is the kind of thing you're looking for. And they, yeah, I've got to make sure that they're hollow and got to make sure that they're stretchy and got to make sure that they're not too wide. Sometimes, look, they stretch and they stay stretched out. And I think that was what happened with these. Anyway, these ones came from the Dollarama a uh, couple or a few years ago, and I saved them and I made stuff with them, and this this collection was so good. I guess I still have some more pieces. So what I do is I take these bands, and then I cut them, and then I used to just pull them on. Do I have my Halloween ones here? That's a good example of how I destroyed some. Look, I've had these scrunchies for Easter shawls too. I don't think that's happening. That is a bit tacky and you can see that my girls are a little bit classy, maybe a bit 70s classy, but classy nonetheless. Do I have my Halloween ones? Because those are such a good example of, well, no, but I can show you that I have these ones as well. You can get them also really narrow. And if you check out some of my other videos, you can see where I made socks with them. So just, I still have to sew these ones. So the sewing, that is the next step that I just learned. And I have been kind of practicing because I'm not, uh, and I didn't want to do it by hand stitching, but I did end up doing it. And this is an overlock stitch. You can look this up on YouTube, or if you want me to, I could do, I guess, a tutorial. And there's different ways you can do it too. You can make it look different, but I kind of liked the raw edge. I'm uh, a big fan of those, you know, classic raw edged Chanel suits and stuff. And I think that that kind of gives the same look. So this is kind of the same series where, I mean, some people might not be happy about this. This is, this is a prototype because I don't think it's the right length. I decided on these two lengths and I'll show you that in a second. But these tubes have not painted up, no pattern on one side and no pattern on the other side. But we're using that to my advantage and all of these pieces that I made are reversible and mix and matchable. And let's take a look for the winter wear, what else we're wearing here. And I have lots of other videos on this if you want to check out uh, all of the other things, uh, as even this rolling rack, how that came to be from the dollar store too. Okay, so I guess we can take this off. So besides these four prints, which I have two zebra, super 80s fun, two zebra prints and two leopard prints in two crazy fluorescent colors, but this is going to be Barbie's summer wardrobe in my world. But along with that, you can also use scrunchies. And I believe this was my last 
uh, haul video that I found of these leather like ones and I don't I mean I'm considering cutting them up getting more of them and making purses out of them and stuff but I like them as these vests, jackets, shrugs, whatever they are. Barbie used to do this. Barbie sold scrunchies with their dresses to put them in different ways back in, um, as, I think, as far as the 80s. I think the 80s is when it started. I think that's when the scrunchies started. But you can put them in different places, like you can put them at the end for your hem, or you can put them up at the top for, I don't know, put a, a huge ruffle around your waist, or there was many different things. These ones aren't the stretchiest for that, but you can do these crazy things like that too. So that's the scrunchie, but we have to take this off because the warmer, the weather's getting warmer, so we have to take these off. Anyway, I was so happy to find those in three colors. Do I have that standing by? Maybe. I got all of these things, and that is something else that stopped me. Like, I was saving these. These are my fall colors, and I'm so, I get so, uh, I go, get so excited for fall because of these colors. But something that I've been noticing in fashion this year is that all of these burnt browns and stuff, they are making their way into summer. So, Finally, like for me, like even I can get colors uh, in tank tops and stuff like this, but I, these sets were amazing and I, I love the texture of this and also they can be, they can be worn in um, the summer now. So you can see that she kind of has this wintry summer look on. Well, let's, let's get rid of this hat. Again, this is just some kind of crazy elastic that I found, but I thought, I don't really like the material that it's made out of. It's more of a polyester felt. So it, it like, it picks up wind easy, but it sure makes a, na a nice, like, 70s headband babushka kind of hat so I kind of I kind of like these and the colors again came in those fall colors but I guess we better take those off for these summer looks oh and before we get into these this is the highlight of the video though you don't want to miss this part of the video and like comment share and subscribe too uh other things as I deconstruct these girls in their outfits. These um, dolls are color reveal heads on WWE bodies, if that is something that you're questioning too. So I doubled up the scrunchie here. It just it gave a really cool effect, as you saw, two scrunchies, and I just put two of them over her shoulders. The belt is made by hair ties. So when you're searching for hair ties, find I don't know if you can tell I don't have a normal sized one here oh yeah I do I have some in here storage boxes that was from my last dollar store haul but a normal hair elastic is like this and they can kind of work as like an off the hip belt and then you do, you do want to look for smaller ones maybe these are smaller in size you, you gotta think you gotta think how tight it's gonna be around her waist there are thicker ones longer ones tighter ones and I just picked these up separately because again those fall colors that I like so much and I do have a few different styles of them I think I put my the best ones aside I guess I put the best ones in these storage boxes look there's a couple more hats in different shades too oh yeah so these elastics are slightly smaller than your average sized ones and I look for those I think they have some of these at the Dollar Tree right now again these ones are all of my colors they really fit uh, these outfits now and then lastly the last thing that I have going on here well no no there's a, there's a couple other things so as you can see those overlock stitches are pretty um, obvious you can see them on here and I liked that extra style so I didn't mind doing that did I just lose a garment from the hanger yeah I did and you can but you can also do it for these wool ones so I found these wool scrunchies and like I said previously I pulled these apart I stitch I open them up you can cut them off, but you can just open them up. And then I overlock stitch the edges so that they have a finished edge. 
and they're more together now so I love that and then look we have this wool dress and these are the elastics oh yeah and so these are just pieces from necklaces from the dollar store that I took apart I also have done many jewelry to belt videos on here but I just took a little plastic loop and just leftover pieces that I had from making different uh, belts and stuff from the jewelry and I cinched um, the two little elastics together overlocked them gotta notice that these are all very 80s styles that we've got going on here and then last 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 so there are these scrunchies so I do have a couple of those that I opened let me show you the ones that I haven't opened is it this yeah it's these so all I did was I had to be very very careful I got my stitch ripper and I totally picked all of the openings up and then I I um, opened it up to until it came a full sheet everyone that's not wrapped around but we need to take this off too because she's getting a little warm even though this is totally perfectly great for the summer so I tried not to waste any by not cutting it and I just carefully found the stitches that so sewed the whole thing together and we have this big long piece of lace which makes a great little shawl which is completely on trend right now if that concerns you doesn't really concern me because <laughs> you got to make style your own right and very very cool and I don't even have to do anything with this I don't have to I don't know it's not fraying or anything and even if it did it's got boho chic kind of thing now finally in all of this mess we will finally get to these pieces and why why these worked out so perfectly and why I chose them the best. Some of them I did sooner or later than others, and I probably got better at my overlock stitching by hand as I did more practicing, and I also figured out how to hide the ends. I think in the end I do have a few ends hanging on, so I might have to redo those, but I'm very happy with those. This is an example of, look, it's just a hair tie. It's a simple belt. How cool is that in a great color? And then just a short little piece makes a tube top. A short little piece of that scrunchie made a skirt. But you can mix and match the skirt for a dress. And this is a really, this is a long dress. Is that the same size? No, I made a super long dress because of, of the wool. But let's uh, get more into these fashions, which I'm throwing off the rolling rack. But you gotta, you gotta see what can happen with these. So let me take off her shoes to make this easy. Let's take off the dress. So I have five different styles of that, but they're all mix and matchable. But when I made this, this skirt, I made it in a size that would work as a skirt and would work as a top. So if I pull this on, we have a, a tube top. And then we've got the overlock stitching, so nice. And then, and then we can have the matching skirt here like this. Pull this on. Yeah, I really do appreciate my finished edges. It makes it so easy. So she can have on a full suit like this. And I'll show you more while I was careful to choose this, which I, I really like this look. And I mean, you gotta, you gotta zhuzh it and stuff. But there's, there's more, so you can have this full suit, but you can also twist it around and then you have like this perfect matching top and bottom i kind of like this but here here's the, the next thing to make the thing look intentional you can just twist it like here and here so she can have like a two-sided i mean the possibilities are endless with these mix and match pieces she can put it the other way but now my favorite out of all of this is that if you put it off-centered just a little bit 
and then you put this one off centered just a little bit like a third of the way rule of thirds this this is my favorite look altogether and then even from the back it looks completely intentional and that is that is the magic of tube tops and tube skirts looking super stylish i like these jungle prints but there's more i i guess i was i wanted to save that part for the end but i didn't want to lose you because i know that a lot of people get really mad when there are no prints on the front and no prints on the bottom but when we've got this color blocking print thing going on which is I am um, not a big fan of color blocking, but when it's simple like this, I mean, that is one cool top, but I mean, it, get, it gets better, guys. So when I decided on the lengths of these, I made sure, this is all trial and error, that they could work as skirts and tops. So if you have a small skirt and a small top, and you can turn it whatever ways you want and all of these colors look great together they're so fluorescent 80s love it also asymmetrical to this one or put it straight down the middle I even like how the dye bled a little bit in that it just adds to a little ruggedness roughness so uh, that's a so cool outfit okay but also when I made these long skirts, I also took into consideration that they could also be dresses. So I made the dresses as long as I possibly could, but also not be too long as a skirt. So that is how I decided on this length so I could have a full length dress and it's still a mini dress and I, I think I kind of used the rules if you put your arms down to the side and if your fingertips that's a perfect that's a perfect hemline that's that's an old school rule I guess it can't be too old school but I guess it's like from the 80s that's what's acceptable arms down fingertips um, that's an, an, um, an, an approved length for your skirt so again she could have the two sides which i mean i never had a problem with this i say this in a lot of videos where i open up the barbie fashions and there's no color on the back because if i saw a girl walking down the street like this in real life and then the back of it was a totally different color i'd think that that was a really cool dress but again let's make it intentional and then she can have this stripe down the side so good and on the back we've got a stripe of leopard down the back so i don't know if these edges are um suitable for everyone if it would be everyone's style i don't know if a mini dress like this would be anyone's style but in these jungle prints come on looking so good so yeah i think i think i've showed you every possibility but i haven't showed you all the all the different styles i have but i can't i couldn't possibly show you every combination look at, look at the mess i've made here did i even show you some of the oh look at this something that i also noticed is that uh terry is back in fashion so i found some terry scrunchies which was also it could still possibly be an Easter video, I guess, depending on what you guys like. I don't know how how hard hitting this video would be. I think this might have been one of my first attempts at the overlock stitching, but this is this is a Terry skirt top. That's a possibility. What did I want to show you? Did I want to show you? No, I showed you where I got these from. I showed you. Look at these. These are other ones I've collected throughout the years. Scrunchies that are fur. I've showed these in a few different videos. They make great fur stoles. You can get this like pom pom ribbon at the dollar store, which makes. Then these are an example of those hats that I was using. But you could have these crazy hats. And I've also used some of the other ones like this as like old fashioned beach 
um, not beach, but swim caps. They were really fluffy in one of my swimwear videos where I made these tube tops from last year. Do I want to show you? I wasn't planning on doing the Terry one, but it, I guess I might as well pull that on like a Terry top. The stuff's very jungle. I'm a huge cave club fan though. I love uh, cave babies and this looks really good. What can we pull on? I didn't do any yellow zebra yet. Let's pull that up. And then I can't, like all of these colors match and go together. And I think that when I bought these, they came in sets of two. Like, come on, look at this, this outfit. Is this, you, you got, you approve of this outfit? I mean, it, I do, I might be triggered by my saying no daughter of mine, but I, I can't help it but thinking that she looks really good. I do have to make more of these shawls. I do have to make more of these, these ones I collected. So here are an example of some that are coming. I think these did come in the same sets. So I've got this whole other weird pattern. It's not as jungly, but I think to finish my 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 rainbow, because we've got red and we've got this brown can count as orange red, orange, yellow, and green, and blue, and then I need I need to make this purple print. It's more leafy, so I guess I do have to bring that into the collection, so that would look really cool. And then I have this striped one. I can't wait to add that in here. And then I got some solid ones, so why not add uh, in a purple top and a navy so I got my hands full of ideas. Oh, and then and then I have these woolens, and I've been experimenting with these too. I did put these on Instagram. Do follow me on Instagram. And I kind of liked how this. So when you buy these, they either roll outwards or they get. Uh, where's one that I should? They just get jagged like this. But sometimes they roll under and. I took advantage of this. Oh, and these ones, I do have to transform all of these into pieces. So yeah, check out Instagram where you can see examples of this. But I do like how the ones that roll, how the overlock stitching turns out on those ones. So, and then these are my favorite colors. Now these ones I think kind of catch like nylon more than the other ones, but I can't help it. I am super excited. Here's one that I haven't overlock stitched yet but the green and yeah, all, all of these colors, these fall colors are in for spring this year. So I, I've got some, I got some hand stitching to work on. I think, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of do like how that, I mean, these, the two color combinations, I like to use the contrasting stitching colors too, because these are all kind of brown based. There's all brown in them. I do like to use the brown thread on it. And you can see sometimes the overlocking does different things, and I kind of I don't mind it. I mean, it looks really, really good on here, but again, practice makes perfect. Kind of like when that line appears. I guess I can show you better on here. Oh, yeah. See where the, the line... Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't. I don't know if it's really clear, but... Yeah, you can also overlock in different ways where you can have a little cross going through so it looks more like a surged edge. Do I have a surged edge? Like I would wear all of my my clothes in. If I had a serger, I would have been making all of my own clothes with raw surged edges my whole life. Just surged sweatsuits, and that's all, all I would wear. All right, here we go. Surged edges, uh, overlocked stitching, tube tops, tube skirts, a lot of fun. Did we take these girls all the summers? I guess we didn't, but here, I've got to gotta put on another outfit. I didn't mix everything up. I don't know if we put on any green. Let's put on more fluorescent green. Let's put one of those suits back on this girl for the end. Anyway, I hope you um, enjoyed this video. Uh,
let me know. Tag me on Instagram if you ever make any tube tops for your Barbies. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay, let's put on another one of these full suits. Maybe. I can't. <laughs> I can't, there's so many possibilities, I can't decide. Do I, do I mix the patterns? Do I do the, the full pattern? Such a great top on its own, and then I can mix it with these woolen ones. So, oh yeah. Yeah, I have to do a whole other. So that's what one of these ones look like on. You can see it's more of a, a wool look but the wool looks are in and I kind of like how the two different types of uh, overlock stitching but it's more of the, the the quality of the fabric if it rolls then it turns out like this when you stitch it and I like it and mixing in yeah holy I have infinite wardrobes just with the five different outfits I made. Even those have how many different things? This is a dress. This is a skirt. This is a top. This is a skirt. And I mean, you can even like make this as a long top if you really want to do. I mean, that's that's a lot of green, right? twist it. There we go. Let's do a halfway down the middle long skirt. And it's like a whole suit. And do a one a one third here and a one half here. Looks stylish in the back, looks stylish in the front, green. Let's mix some patterns. Just got the green on. Green and red are complementary colors, so let's do that. Let's put this on as a skirt. I don't know. I don't know if I like the pencil skirt better or the short mini skirt better. But I just, I love how they, all these prints look good together. Super 80s. You can put on a, this, this belt is a little too matchy. Contrasting belt. God, do we got another belt here? That, one, that one's too matchy too. Possibilities are endless. Let's put on this orange one. These, these ones seem a little bit tighter. I don't know if these elastics will work. Of course they'll work. But they might not be the look I need. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> look at this 80s outfit. I can't... I, I, <laughs> Does she need a shawl now? Is that too much? I have to un... I have to unstitch all of these shawls now too because you can't have too many of those. Look, I do have another one of those shawls in, in this bucket. Look, I got this pink one. This is another one that I unstitched. Yeah, that one's a good one. It's pinky. Always take one thing off before you go out the door though. I'm freaking out. Look.